the last time we played this game, um, we slept with a lot of people and we saved our son from being groomed by a teaching assistant. Whose first great idea was to buy a bus ticket to New York when she was 15? Any guesses? I don't even know half their names. Lynette. Lynette's the only one I know. Aren't we in another sunset? Oh, yeah, also our son was playing violent video games and for some reason we thought that meant that he was in a gang. But I think we resolved that too. So, I don't really know what else we got going on. During poker night, the ladies gossip about how Daniel Fox has managed to ruffle some feathers. Speaking with Daniel about this might alleviate some hurt feelings. Okay, where's Daniel? Or can we not talk to him anymore? Daniel? <laughs> I knew it would scare me. Thank you, Bay Bunny, for, for six months. I appreciate it. That's very kind. They sold 400k copies in three years, which sounds pretty successful. Yeah, I mean, I guess I have no scale of things either. Desperate Housewives was like the second most popular show on TV for a while. It was like Lost and Desperate Housewives. Was that an alert of your dog's barking? Can you imagine if I just made that a Twitch alert? Oh, <laughs> How stressful how that would be. Um, not so well. I didn't win much at poker night. You? Actually, I'm doing great, sweetie. What can I help you with? Exactly, Bay Bunny. You spooked him. You might want to tamp it down a notch. Between your wardrobe and your refined social graces, you're stifling their confidence. Uh, no, don't, don't dull your sparkle, Daniel. Well, Daniel, I need to tell you something. I don't want to gossip, but the other wives are a bit frustrated with trying to keep up with you. Also, um, my partner's well, name is Dan, and he's probably just hearing me say Daniel a bunch show. right now. So that's fun. Really? We all get to be fashion models in a real fashion show? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to make the five most popular women in Fairview my models. I love... I forgot this guy's name. Frank? I don't know why him sitting here is just kind of killing me. He just looks lost. <laughs> he looks like a kid at like a food court and he's like lost his mom. You know what I mean? Um, sounds... So it's just a popularity contest? Sounds like fun. Where do I sign up? Honey, I just don't have room for everyone. Since it sounds like I'm upstaging them, I'll just stand behind the curtain so that the flowers of Wisteria Lane can be seen in full bloom. Listen. Oh, my flowers are in full bloom on display. Popularity will be pretty familiar to the women in this town. And just what would they be? The most important thing on Wisteria Lane. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Darn it. And here I was thinking I'd be able to coast through life on my IQ alone. <laughs> Not just a woman's beauty, but also <laughs> the ability to design a beautiful garden will be a factor. Oh, but aesthetically pleasing I don't want to do that. Everyone. You're not afraid of a little hard work. I am afraid of a little hard work. I'm a YouTuber. That's literally what I do. <laughs> Hi, not Lizzie. Um, isn't that what a gardener's for? They can also improve the presentation of their home by doing some interior design work. Um, I have been meaning to update a few things around the house. There's also another qualification. Oh my god, it's still going. Next to godliness. Not that I necessarily believe in God, but there's nothing like a clean house to gain some respect around the neighborhood. Hayden, that Animal Crossing game is just like the first Animal Crossing game. They would bully you in the first game, and I want them to go back to that. They've gone soft. Hmm. Well, I guess I should bring the the maid in more than once a week. Luckily, they haven't raised the minimum wage in the last 20 years. Obviously, relationships with other people are very important as well. Popularity is earned by having great relationships, oh, you know. Oh, but I've... Ugh. Oh, but I, that means I can't Finally, slap people. Remember that friendship and respect are two sides of the same coin. Ugh, no one respects me. Both from your peers. <laughs> This feels intimidating. So, while taking care of the home and earning your neighbor's respect, you also need to take the time to be friendly with your neighbors. That I can do. <laughs> he's telling me to have an affair, I think is what he's telling me. I'll sleep my way to the top, that's well, fine. 
that was quite a little speech I gave. <laughs> I even impressed myself. Anyway, I hope that helps you understand the ground rules for the contest. Well, you did state the obvious, but at least I have a head start on the other women. Can I sleep with Frank? No! Aw. <laughs> I was about to get friendly with him. Ugh, fine. Alright, should we update our house? Why am I talking? Why am I getting dragged into this conversation? Go to bed. Also, the music is so loud in my ears. Good day, Miss Davenport. Is something the matter? My garden has been damaged again. <laughs> and I'm sure so. Oh, who did that? Mud is responsible. Who did that? Uh, Blue Star, unfortunately, I think that's the only per lady we can seduce is the maid. It's unfortunate. Well, if I see any mischievous dogs, I'll be sure to let you know. I'm sure it was a dog. And come to think of it, the only dog I know of that is left outside during the day to ruin my beautiful garden is Mike Delfino's walking carpet. <laughs> I'm Mike Delfino's walking carpet. I think I'm Mike Delfino's walking carpet. We slept with Mike, didn't we? Any creature that has no respect for the grandeur of a garden such as mine should be put down. You wouldn't allow a dog that bit or mauled your child to live, now would you? Uh, maybe. Miss Davenport is giving Alexis Michelle meets Darien Lake plus 30 years. I see it. I see that journey for her. And her name is Mrs. Davenport, so Daven... Wait. Kennedy Davenport. I said it backwards. <laughs> she is a drag queen. If you see that Mike Delfino, you let him know to keep that mud of his on a leash or else. Okay, okay. What's what's happening? Talk to Mike. Oh, we can talk to Mike. Uh, home improvement. Befriend Gabrielle. Why would we do that? Upgrade your home. Purchase a combined total of $1,000 worth of upgrades. I don't have any money. Combined total of 100 to befriend Gabrielle. Who is that? Also, why... <laughs> this is just like The Sims. It really is. Why is this happening? Go in the house. Martha? You've had a long night. Go in the house. Alright. Well... What should, what should we do? Customize home. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this is a good angle. <laughs> there we go. Uh, living room. What is this? Is this the floor? Ooh. No. Oh yeah, tasteful blue carpet. Rose carpet, yes. Lime green carpet. Perfect. I mean, that'll cover up the stains, I think, pretty well. That looks good to me. Okay. Uh, let's, let's go to the bathroom. Uh, bathroom... Oh, we can't put carpet in the bathroom? What the heck? Walls. I can't even see them, so sure. Whatever it takes. We love interior decorating. All right, is it just the... Like, I'm not replacing the furniture, it's just the floor and the walls? Okay. Okay, Diva. Ooh, I actually do like that. And... Upstairs. We have a guest bedroom? Well, obviously we're gonna upgrade for us. Well, this is riveting, isn't it? Hang on, let me exit this. Home improvement. Purchase a combined total. <laughs> How do we upgrade things? Upgrade. Let me upgrade. Yeah. Okay, we're definitely going to do the big TV. And there we go. And now we just have some lime green carpet to sort of break up the flow of the wood. I think that makes sense. <laughs> Do 
just seeing his like levitating body before the bed loaded in really got me. Also, let's change our outfit. As much as I love the bikini, I think it's a new season. It's a new day. Turned a new leaf. Oh, I have two outfits. I look kind of buff, if I'm being honest. I suppose I need to go get more, more looks. That'll do for now. Oh, wait. Hang on. Hang on, I need to slap Luke up before I go to bed. What the hell was that for? That was for nothing. I can't believe I did that. I'm so sorry, Luke Epp. I'm putting my foot down. If you slap me again, I'll do something about it. You say that. Oh yeah, green is in. That's that's why we have the green carpet for sure. For sure, ghastly. All right, back <laughs> back into our our bikini lingerie. Of course. Of course. Alright. Let's get the gardening out of the way, because that's the thing I want to do the least. Absolutely the least. You know, when I was a kid and I, like, first started um, wearing bras, I did think that you had to sleep in them. <laughs> and what a relief when I found out that wasn't the case. <laughs> what a relief. That's just a lesson in me constantly making life harder for myself. All right. Uh, this tutorial will help you get acquainted with the gardening game. Welcome okay, well, I don't know what I'm doing. Your own little plant sanctuary. Take good care of it, and you'll be rewarded with beautiful flowers year-round. To your left are several tools that will help you keep your garden healthy and happy. These tools are the planting trowel, the weeding glove, the pest repellent, and the watering can. Okay. Yeah, because I, at first I thought you wore a bra for like Put health reasons, you know. And plant new so I thought you just had to. As well as remove dead or unwanted yeah, I, like I didn't know what it was for. It seems as though this garden hasn't been tended to in quite some time. We'll clean it up a bit by removing some of the dead flowers in the garden. Okay. It would seem as though this garden hasn't been tended to in quite some time. Removing okay, dead flowers. Okay, thank you. Remove any flower from your garden. Trash. Now, let's fill those newly vacated plots. This is the flower shop. Okay. In the beginning, you'll have all the flowers are separated into different levels based on the quality of each flower. Before purchasing a plant, you can view its qualities in the information window on screen. To purchase and plant a flower, just drag mm -hmm. each flower has an associated cost shown here. Sixty-five dollars. Flower. The cost will be automatically deducted from your available funds. Finally, if you're completely the next tool up for discussion is the weed Ugh. glove. Click on this tool to begin removing pest weeds. This is the a few weeds have sprouted up in your garden. To begin, we we finally click on the weeds to, to weed. You your handy bug a single to extend <laughs> the pests. You this is so overwhelming. Your, your flowers can only take a spray or two. Phew. The, the last tool we'll talk about <laughs> is the water. There's plant. so many instructions. Allows, as you can now see by the click on your plants with the water. This plant's water. It doesn't end. Now. Let's take note. Maintaining a full and healthy garden causes as your garden. Y'all expect me to sit here and listen to all of this? Plants will become available to you in the plant purchasing area. Just remember that your garden level. You're now looking at a well manicured. You're free to return to your garden as often as you like. <laughs> Happy but gardening. Okay. Garden. Great. Thanks. <laughs> of course. Of course, that's what that is. Get him. Get him. Okay, thank you. Now, as I was saying, let's do the, f the fanciest that money can buy. How do I buy them? Oh, God. Oh, uh, do I need a garden first? Uh, we'll, we'll do, we'll do the, the bougie kind. Thank you. This is easy. They didn't have to be doing all that, you know? And then, uh... Water. Glug, glug, glug. Oops. <laughs> that needs water. You need water. You need water. 
Incredible. Welcome to your garden. <laughs> your own. And there we go. And now I just look, gaze upon my incredible work. Why do they all have green stuff on it? You know? Is this the timer? Be garden healthy, and you'll advance to the next level. Oh, I can get rid of some of these. Yeah, let's get rid of some of these. See if I can level up a little bit. And we'll do that. That. Okay. I, I literally... Okay. To be... In respect over time. So James, make sure your garden is well tended to. Click on the garden plot. Okay. And do we have to do the other one? Is that what that is? <laughs> if only there were some sort of instructions. I don't know what you're talking about, Theo. I don't know what you're insinuating here. Oh. Wait. I think I'm being scammed here, to be honest. I think someone lied to me. Several times, actually. <laughs> Oops. Later. See you never. And... Okay. Boom. Well, hate that. <laughs> well, I hate that. Uh, friend Gabrielle, where is she? Where is that slut? Just kidding. Women are queens. Um, Tom, Lynette, Gabrielle. This is a good angle. This is a good angle to have. Oh, this is um Ava Longoria, right? That's her name? Oh, her husband's here. Oh. How unfortunate. Also, he's fully walking away from me. Hello? Hello? <laughs> hey, what's Hi. going on? I need your advice. I'm trying to convince my husband to buy me a string of pearls, but I'm having no luck. What should I do? If you really want something from a man, you have to be willing to fight below the belt. If you know what I mean, there's usually a zipper involved. Not with Luke Epp. That could definitely work. I'd give Look, it a honey, shot. Women have been using that particular technique since biblical times. Don't fight it. Okay. Uh, hug. Give her a hug, because women support women. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're such good friends. We're such hey, good friends. If you really oh, we already we already had this conversation. Um secrets. Hello. That's an odd smile you're wearing, Gabrielle. What's going on? I don't kiss and tell. You tease. Maybe I should rephrase that. I don't have sex in my hot tub and tell. <gasps> No wonder you're smiling. It's tame. Carlos and I have done it in some crazy places. Oh, it was with Carlos? That's not that crazy. Tell me some of them. There was that building stairwell with a flashlight during a power outage. Under the table at the Park Avenue restaurant. <laughs> oh, and the restroom at the football stadium. I had to throw out that Yeah. Chance. Ugh. Ugh, indeed. Tell me more. But the best place was on an airplane. No way. Carlos likes to say he took my mile high virginity. <laughs> Sucking dick and cock at a birthday dinner. That's so cute. That's enough kissing and telling for one day. I'll see you later. Are we friends yet? Uh, socialize. Discuss. Uh, respect 71%. Ooh, we're going up. We're going... Wait, yeah. 
Respect 69%. Oh my gosh, she respects me so much. She does kind of look like Tati here. Uh, hang on, hang on. Um, Whoa. may I speak with the lady of the house, please? <laughs> Excuse me, sorry, I was trying to uh, um, sleep with her husband. Speaking. Ah, how have you been? I love her little, like, wiggles when she's on the phone. It, it kills me. Well. That's excellent to hear. Well, in that case, might you be interested in coming down today for a follow-up session? But I'm doing well. Why would I need therapy if I'm doing well? Perhaps I could assist you with piecing together some of those lost memories. And that would be wonderful. I suppose. Until then. Bye, Miss Penis. Oh, Carlos got away while I was on the phone. Also, oh my gosh. What? My goodness. You have certainly managed to make a wonderful display with your garden. You are too kind, oh, Brie. Oh, come now. Oh my god, she's getting away. You have done a wonderful job. I am sure everyone can appreciate how much time and effort you put into this beautiful garden. You're, You're so welcome. sweet. Well? Does, oh, we did the garden. Thank god. Therapy. Check in with Daniel. Oh, man, we did that fast. Okay, cool. We didn't get to sleep with anyone's husbands, but... That's fine, I guess. Uh, that's Daniel. Let's go sleep with Mike before we uh, get too ahead of ourselves. We gotta sleep with somebody. What's the point of living if not? There he is. Hello. There's the big guy. How are you doing today? I am well, but I have some disturbing news. What's going on? It would seem that Bongo is responsible for some recent damage to her garden. Um, I'll say. Bongo I know Bongo's innocent. Did Mrs. Davenport say why she thinks Bongo did it? She didn't really give me any valid reasons. If you ask me, that woman is out of her mind. Would you mind taking a look at Mrs. Davenport's garden and letting me know if you find anything strange? Why don't you do it? Okay, well... Hey. What's going on? I have a problem that I Is know you can fix. In a way. What exactly needs my attention? My pipes need to be snaked. I'll take a peek first thing in the morning. Uh, I don't think you understand, Mike. My pipes. So are you suggesting what I think you're suggesting? <laughs> Not beating around Follow the bush. The Get those bootcut jeans on the floor. This kind of job. Perfect. <laughs> and we hook up in those bootcut jeans. In the bootcut jeans. Yes, yes. Once again, Hush you money. My world. That was great. I certainly didn't enjoy that. I remember thinking it was going to be nice, but then the next thing I knew, I was practically bored to sleep. Okay. It could have been better, I admit. But you're being pretty harsh here. Well, maybe if you paid attention to any of the obvious cues I gave you, I could have had a good time, but no. You were no gymnast in there. <laughs> At one point, I almost did the mirror test to make sure you were still alive. What? <laughs> Hi, Ragnarok. Whatever, Mike. I'm out of ideas to spice up this waste of time. Goodbye. <laughs> Never talking to him again. My God. You really showed me up. Mike requires your assistance tracking down the real culprit. Evidence. Well, I mean, I didn't, didn't I? Mrs. Davenport, being an elderly widower on a fixed income, probably has a price for what she can be bought to make the unpleasantries go away. Look for clues, okay? Well, let's let's go. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! They're coming for me! Oh god, terrifying. Okay, so nope. Ah Well, I think mystery solved. Can we slap her? Oh hello, wait, hang on. Hang on. Hold it up, hello. <laughs> yeah, we're investigators. We're hot on the trail right now. And for the sake of the investigation, we have to sleep with um this government employee. Hello. How are you today? 
I'm feeling hot. <laughs> oh, are you waiting for a special delivery? I'm waiting and wanting your package. Uh, uh, I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Come on, Floyd. You know exactly what I meant. <laughs> are you coming on to me? Um... I'm not saying that. Coming on to you? No, I just thought you'd have a package for me. Was I wrong? This is like a dream. The hottest housewife on Wisteria Lane coming on to me? Let's not waste any more time. Bring your mailbag and follow me. <laughs> we we love the men in blue. If by men in blue you mean the postal workers. <laughs> They're our favorite. I didn't think it was possible, but you were even I know, we're the hottest the housewife. Time. You sound satisfied, Floyd. At least that makes one of us. I don't think I've checked my watch that many times since I was stuck in line at the DMV. You were the one who fell asleep. I was doing all I could to keep you excited. I think <gasps> you have the problem. Ah! Sure, sure, I have a problem. See you around. Well, hello there. <laughs> I think I may just have another package for you, if you know what I mean. Oh, I don't know. I Do I really want to take that offer up? Of you. I really need to see you in the flesh again, right now. Not in the flesh. That's the kind of mail I was looking for. I think you, I can accommodate Let's your go request. And see if I can find any special deliveries for you. <laughs> I can hardly wait. Follow me and show me what you've got in that package. <laughs> After we fell asleep the first time, we're down bad. I didn't think it was possible, but you were even better the second time. Eh, now let's insult him you some more. You were the one who fell asleep. I was doing all I could to keep you... Whatever. Whatever. All right, let's go clear Bongo's name. It was the second time. We slept with him twice. And neither were good, I guess. Oh, is she not there anymore? No, oh, she's in here. We could just loop the sex over and over again. That would be a really fun stream, I think. We don't need to advance the plot. <laughs> just keep insulting the mailman and sleeping with them. Oh, I thought she was going to answer the door, but I guess not. Hello. Fully walking away from me. Mrs. Davenport? Hello? Hello? Anyone in there? Hello. I haven't had a chance to speak with that Delfino character. He maintains Bongo's innocence, but said he will try to help me find the culprit. <laughs> of course he denies it. Would you admit that your pet was a menace to your neighbors? What if I told you that I found evidence that someone other than Bongo was responsible? Someone? I suppose I should tell you. That was a hypothetical question. I still don't know who did it. Uh. We know! Someone? Oh, uh. we're... We seem to be caught in a loop. Alright, fine. We somehow don't know that it was the three children who ran away with giant footprints. It could be anybody, really. All right, should we investigate the scene? <laughs> well, honestly, I think she got what she deserved. I have no no issue saying that. Let's go over here. Oh, there they are. Come on. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. <laughs> God, they're scary. Imagine Imagine in the middle of the night, you wake up and they're like, Mom, I flew up, but it's this kid. They look like this. Terrifying. Would you consider me a stranger if I had some chocolate for you? I wouldn't be a stranger then, would I? We're not supposed to talk <laughs> yes, to those strangers. same children. Well, <sighs> yeah, I'm not a stranger. I'm the one who tried to, to fuck to your strangers. dad. 
Oh, come on. What's it going to take to get you to talk to good old Mrs. Big Venus? A little chocolate, maybe? We're not supposed to talk to strangers. God, they're tough. They're impossible to crack. We're not supposed to talk to strangers. I'm not a stranger. I'm your neighbor, Mrs. Big Venus. I bet you'd be a lot more friendly if I came bearing gifts. We're not supposed to talk to... God, they're impossible. Impossible. Alright, well... Just for that, I'm gonna go sleep with your dad. <laughs> that's that's their punishment. Come here. Oh, not Lynette. Awkward. Awkward. Abort. Abort. Hey, you wouldn't by any chance have any adorable, well-behaved preschoolers. They're right there. The basement. Ones that you forgot to mention to your neighbors. Are you taking your children's medication or something? I'm going nuts. Tom and I are having such a hard time finding play dates for the kids. That's hard to believe. And it's that not. Is so sweet of you to lie like that. Thank you. Well then, I Goodbye. should be on my way. I'm assuming you had a good reason to do that. Because you had it coming to you. You're very lucky I value our friendship. <laughs> our friendship? What friendship? Seduce. Hey, nice to see you. You must be looking for Lynette. What do you mean? Are you talking about having an affair? Look, <laughs> I find you very attractive, but I love my. Tell you what. God damn it. He's still not cracking. Hey, neighbor. How are you today? What's on your mind, Tom? I was hoping I could ask you an important question. Of course. What is it? Do you count me as one of your friends? Sure I do. Great. Glad to hear it. Why do you ask, I Tom? The friends I can get. <laughs> oh, I forgot we had this conversation. Have 300 friends so far. He has 300 friends. That's a lot of friends. In today's world, it's easy to make that many friends. So true. Maybe I have that many friends. Sometime, but not quite yet. I have to go. Hug. Come here. Come here. Why is it so low? We've invested so much in him. This guy's impossible. Come on, discuss. His respect just went down. How is that possible? He hates us. I'll be here all day. Oh, there we go. Friendship's going up. I'll literally be here all day. We're just discussing and discussing and discussing. Come on. Oh my gosh, he loves us. He can't get enough. We're chatting it up right in front of Lynette. Lynette can't even take it. She's disassociating in the background. All right, come on. That's got to be it. Hey, nice to see you. Maybe we should see more of each other. Must be looking for Lynette. I came to see you. Hopefully, all of you. What do you mean? Your wife is too busy to give you the attention I need. Yeah, she's so busy. So here I am. Are you talking about having an affair? I'm suggesting we let one thing lead to another. I find you very attractive, but I love my wife. I love Lynette. Oh, Tell Tom. What, I'll just stick with what I- God! Come on. We're literally besties. No, we must be able to seduce him. I refuse to believe that's not true. Maybe we have to wait till Lynette is gone? Our friendship is at 100%. He literally could not like me more. <laughs> I think Tom just loves his wife. I don't believe it. Lynette? We, I want to seduce him so bad because I can't have him, and that drives me crazy. Nice to see you. You must be looking... What do you mean? Are you talking about... Look, I find you... Tell you what. God...
Obi can gossip. It's literally 10 p.m. Oh my god, wait, did you see he went to bed? He went to bed on the floor for a second. Okay, he had to take a little nap, but one day, one day. Maybe if we're mean, he'll like us? Is that the, been the secret this whole time? Come on. Also, can I just say I'm not invested in the children stomping on the garden? I mean, free the dog, but it's also not my problem, is it? All right, well, let's not waste any time with Luke Epp. Clean? Why would I do such a- th Clean? Why do I have to clean it? What am I, a desperate housewife? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> no! Oh, there we go. Well, un in an unrelated note, I think I'll save. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. My world breaks when I make the bed sometimes, too. Alright, but off to bed. Off to bed we go. In our little heels. Alright, so we have to do the dog thing. We have to get the kids to talk to us. Somehow. I don't even know really how we do that. Um... So much third person. Okay. Hang on, I'm setting up the timer. All right. Five minutes starting now. Who is that? Who's that lady? Ashley wants to know her story. Ashley wants to know what's up with that. Also, what are you, what are you doing? Ashley forgot her son's name. Happens to the best of us. Y'all are, are hoarders. Y'all are ho hoarding the points. Maybe inflation needs to come for y'all. <laughs> Maybe a little thing called inflation will come for all of y'all. Hmm. <laughs> Ashley is kidding. Or is she? Or is she? Oh, Bort. Ashley's beautiful son, Bort. Of course. Ashley doesn't think there's anything to investigate here. Hush money, question the Scavo kids. Bring cookies and candy. Um, oh, we have to go to the pharmacy. Ashley has to go to the pharmacy. All right. Ashley's gonna get in her Chrysler Pacifica and she's gonna go get some Adderall to um, convince the kids. The kids love Adderall. It's like Tic Tacs. He's just board coded. Ashley has gotten so good. Ashley thinks it might just become a permanent thing. Uh, fashion outfit. Yeah, let's... Ashley's gonna get a new outfit real quick. Hang on. And then Ashley's going to drug the children. Ooh, so many options. Options. <laughs> yeah. Ashley's liking that. Ashley thinks that has potential. Ashley wants um, Martha to be a, a fit queen. Oh, oh yes. Ashley's quite pleased with that. <laughs> green, green shorts? Certainly. Uh, th there we go. That looks much better. <laughs> Hey, Bill. All right. Ashley is ready. Ashley, where's the pharmacy? 
Where? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Martha's joining LuLaRoe. That's definitely what's happening. All right. Ashley's going to get the box of chocolates. Uh, bye. Need more. And um, maybe the kids will like some caress body soap. What do y'all think? All right. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. All right. Stick with Ashley. S come on. Question for the chat. Have any of y'all been asked to be in anyone's downline? Because Ashley thinks that maybe Ashley just isn't popular enough. Uh, other than like one sorority event where everybody was getting asked to like sign up, <laughs> which is like a whole other thing. Other than that time, no one's ever slid in Ashley's DMs and Ashley's kind of personally offended about that. Yeah. Hotchkiss, that might be Ashley's problem. No friends. No friends in MLMs, that's for sure. I mean, come on. I would s Ashley would say no, but... I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. <laughs> Ashley wants a little thrill sometimes. Did you see Mr. Davenport? Is he a zombie? I saw that you were in Mrs. Davenport's garden. Why were you there? We promised not to tell our parents. Mrs. Davenport buried her husband in her garden <gasps> with the <sun> messed <sighs> up. We thought he rose from the dead. My... <laughs> Ashley's sorry? Ashley's sorry? So what can you tell me about Miss Davenport? Mr. Davenport. Mr. Also, Davenport that isn't Ashley cheating. Davenport Ashley's reading the dialogue. Mrs. Davenport's garden was all messed up. So we figured that she must have buried him in there. The timer has expired. What else do you remember about Mr. Davenport that you haven't told me yet? Nothing. Except that one day he just up and disappeared. About a week later, she said that he had died while visiting family. My god! You know, I talked with Mr. Davenport not too long ago. He told me that if you weren't good little boys, that he would rise from his grave and come after you. We don't have a choice. We have to terrify the children. That's silly. Everyone knows that zombies can't talk. You're lying. Well, goodbye. Good. Blame the Scavo kids. Mr. Davenport? Look for information about Etta's past by searching for the name Davenport on the computer. I'm so scared. What are we about to Google right now? <laughs> are we about to find out he, like, disappeared on a, a chartered plane? Like the husband in Tiger King? Oh my god, Mrs. Davenport is Carol Baskin. Thoughts? Thoughts? Alright, we're gonna bing it. Rodney James Rod Davenport passed of cardiac arrest at age 72. He, he was a loving husband and wonderful companion. He leaves behind a wife, Etta Davenport of Wisteria Lane. This obituary has been retracted. What do you mean retracted? Rodney Davenport weds Elizabeth Falkwell. Elizabeth and Rodney Davenport wed today in a small ceremony at St. Peter's Church of the Catholic Faith. The new Mrs. Davenport, a longtime local of the area, works as a volunteer at the Veterans Memorial Senior Center. Mr. Davenport, called Rod by his friends, comes by way of Fairview and also volunteers at the Senior Center. So wait, was she not, was Etta really not his wife? I don't know, Elizabeth and Etta also sound similar enough. Blackmail Etta. Okay. <laughs> there's, there's so much going on. I've never heard of Etta being short. I didn't, I've never even heard that name. Is it short for Elizabeth? Or are they saying it's somebody else? I, I'm missing on the lore. Etta. You have a lot of explaining to do. Oh, there you are. There you are. <laughs> Her and I have very similar posture, I have to say. Hello. 
I haven't had a chance to speak with that Delfino character. Well, I did. He maintains Bongo's innocent, but said he will try to help me find the culprit. <laughs> of course he denies it. Would you admit that your pet was a menace to your neighbors? Mrs. Davenport, I know the truth about Rod. The truth? What, what the devil are you talking about? You've been pretty sneaky for a woman so advanced in years. You had me fooled about your husband's passing, too. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course my beloved Rod is dead. Oh, it is a nickname for Elizabeth. Okay, you learned something new. Stop it! Everything is an act with you. We both know he is alive. Well, maybe to you he is, but surely that new wife of his will find out just how alive he is on their honeymoon. Oh, wait, so he's not dead? He left her for another woman, and they're pretending he's dead? I'll let Mike know that this whole situation res has been resolved. <laughs> well, case closed. When is Nancy Drew going to do a case like this? When is Nancy Drew going to do this? I hope this is what happens in um, Mystery of the Seven Keys. I really do. All right, Michael, better be grateful for this. Hello. Found anything new that might be able to help with this Mrs. Davenport situation? Hey, Mike, I took care of it. Mrs. Davenport won't be bothering you or Bongo for a while. Thanks for clearing that situation up. I really appreciate it. I did it for Bongo, but you are welcome too. Well, the best I can do is offer you free plumbing services. Oh, we'll get Anytime those free plumbing leave. services for yeah. sure. Come Hi on, there. come back here. What can I do for you today? Oh, I don't know, Mike. Do you want to take your shirt off for me? I think we're on the same page here. <laughs> what do you say we get on? All right, it's settled. Get the. I'm so tired. Is Bongo what we call his weenie? No! No! I can't with y'all. Once again, you've rocked my world. That was great. <laughs> we did not do it for that, Bongo. I can assure you of that. Thanks, Mike. There's I enjoyed it very much as well. From. Call me anytime or just... Alright, hang on. Alright, let's save. Overwrite that. Okay. It's 8 o'clock, so before I forget, some housekeeping. Um. Uh, <laughs> and that's it. That's all I had to say. All right, so we have to go tell Daniel how hot and cool we are now. All right, shh. We're back on the VOD, so no one... <laughs> no one tell the YouTube people what we've been up to, okay? Be cool. Secret. Yeah, I think we did more in that that business meeting than I ever did at <laughs> at the meetings at my work. Back to being desperate. Hello? They never answer the door. Come here. Oh my gosh. Come come on. I see them circling the door. Let's let's get a move on. Oh, well Daniel, done. just the one I wanted you to see. Definitely earned your position amongst the sweethearts. However, you have some time before the presentation. It would probably be best if you tied up the rest of those loose ends. What? What loose Come ends? Let me know when you're done and ready to get fabulous. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, we have a therapy appointment. Well, I don't need that. I think I'm actually great. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> Fabulous. Everyone's always sliding around. Everyone looks like they need to poop their pants and like they have secrets. I'm scared to know the truth though. Do we want to know the truth? Do we want our therapist to unlock those memories? I don't know.
All right, in we go. Can we handle the truth? You want to be on top? Tyra didn't have to go that hard with the theme song to America's Next Top Model. She really didn't, but she did. You want to be on top? Hello again. Very good to see you. Hello. So, since our last session, how have things been settling for you? <laughs> Other than the little hiccup with my son's tutor, things have been great. Sometimes the only way for us to see our true colors is to work through tough situations. But it sounds to me like you're taking everything in stride and doing well. Speaking of your son, how was it dealing with your lack of recollection <laughs> and his childhood? Hmm. You have no idea what it's like to be a mother and have no memory of holding your baby in your arms for the first time. And as time went on? Well, even though I was satisfied, it was a bizarre time. The trauma injured a, p a key part of my mind, which actually forced me to relearn a lot of things. And your husband, how did he react to It's a very this? relaxing therapy session. You know, standing is very good for your long-term health. That's what they say. Um... I'd say he was a changed man, but that would imply that I remember how he was before the accident. Dot dot dot. Nevertheless, he was amazing and always at my beck and call. It sounds like he has played a very strong supporting role in your life. Hmm... I suppose, but I, well, I just feel like things are off sometimes. I can't put my finger on it. Also, this therapist is 100% snitching out. to I'm our sure husband. He has interest in you rediscovering your past as well. 100%. I mean, our husband's literally like right over there. So, let's begin by retracing the steps with your earliest memories and work forward. Hmm... Well, I can remember most of my childhood, going to the park with my mother and father, my confirmation, even my first kiss. In fact, everything is clear until... What is that memory? Hmm. It's stupid, I guess. It had something to do with my first boyfriend. It was ninth grade, and I can't remember his name. It's alright. Just follow what you do remember. Eventually, the floodgates will open. I like how he holds his his hands like this. Maybe I should do that more. Makes me feel secure. So what do you remember after that? Um, I don't know. Why can't I remember? Okay. We'll stop there. Perhaps some time to think about this period of your life will help you recall something. I'll give you <laughs> Everything went wrong as soon as the ninth grade boyfriend entered the chat. Continue. I mean, my ninth grade boyfriend was kind of the worst, so I I have to agree. <laughs> All right, onwards. Let's go. Let's go. I feel like you should. We should be seeing a neurologist, not a therapist. I mean, we need a lot of work. <laughs> I love Martha Big Venus, but she is a work in progress. Imagine dating in high school. I mean, it took up way too much of my mental energy. Um, <laughs> way too much. I would have been in Harvard if I wasn't wasting my time with all that. For sure, 100%. I could have gone pro if it wasn't for my um, elbow injury. Oh, we have to go to Daniel's again. Again. It's all my ninth grade boyfriend's fault. <laughs> it's all his fault. <laughs> but love finds a way, you know? Love finds a way. I knew you could do it. Now let's get on with the presentation of the lovely models. Woo! Competition. It's hardwired into us from an early age. It can bring out the yeah, best. Yes, stand there. Woo! Work. As well as the worst. <laughs> Playing more poker by ourselves. 
Solitaire, well, that's what that is. Has its winners. It must Bongo! Have its losers as well. Sometimes it's best to stand back in order to allow others to shine. What husband proposed to her at... Whose husband proposed to her at Torch Lake? I don't know how to play solitaire. And at this point, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid to find out, you know? At my junior prom, I ended up in the limo with my ninth grade girlfriend. She was there with a the gay guy. Classic. Who's... Oh, Martha Hubers. Knew it. Any fashion designer will tell you. The right design communicates something powerful to all observers. The right outfit can help us express many facets of our personalities. Is that the Sometimes right outfit? Even more than mere words. Well, oh. um, hello? Although sometimes we choose our clothing To intentionally hide <laughs> what lies beneath. Um. Hmm. Sure, that's fine. Hey. Hello. What was that? Hey, Daniel. Listen, I can't talk too long, but basically, there's a little work left to do on your dress. Come by sometime, and we'll talk about it. Okay? It's still not finished? Yeah, I'll come over. And maybe then you can tell me what's taking so long. I'll keep your shirt on and just get over here. <laughs> um, excuse me? Oh, what's in our inventory? Did we not get anything? Okay, well, I guess we're just going. I guess we'll just, um, forget about that. I'm sure that that man was up to nothing but good things. Should we check it? Can we check it again? No, I guess not. Okay, well, forget about that. Walking and walking and walking. Walking and walking and walking. We're on our hawker walk right now. Oh, there you are, Daniel. Wait, we can seduce him? I didn't, I, I mean, okay, bisexual representation, here we go. <laughs> or are we just in denial? Are we just in hey, denial right now? On? Not much, say. How would you like to see a little more of me? Of course I'd like to see more of you. I think you misunderstood me, Daniel. I'm volunteering to give you a private fashion show. Very funny. Maybe I could model the men's designs for you. Let's stop playing games, Daniel. You know you want me. If I wasn't gay and you weren't married, <laughs> I might think you were serious. <laughs> it's so embarrassing! I can hardly be more serious. I dress women for a living. Nothing personal, but the female <laughs> goods just don't do it for me. And I have seen the Yeah, best. the strap-on. Come on. That should be enough, right? We were supposed to get a foot of snow today and barely got anything. Yeah, I, um, we got a ton of rain and we got some snow, but none of it stuck. But then Dan's parents, who live like an hour north of us, they got like a foot of snow. It was kind of crazy. What am I doing? I can't let you undress me, Daniel. I'm sorry. Well, I guess I'm barking up the wrong tree. <laughs> well, that was kind of a bust. Hello. Ah, oh, you're here. Glad you noticed. So now that you're here, I have good news and bad news for you. Which would you rather hear first? Let's hear the bad news. The bad news is that I don't have all of the right fabrics uh, for the dress. I've been looking all over. Oh my god. Contacting everyone I know trying to get a hold of a really unique luminescent texture. What is this dress going to look like? I can't find it. Sounds expensive. And rare too. It's absolutely necessary that I have it. Maybe you'll have better luck finding it than me. Okay, possibly. Again, the only people that would have access to it would be the ones that have that kind of money. Are to we spend supposed to clothes. steal the fabric? And there aren't too many devoted fashion plates out in the middle of suburbia, I imagine. 
There may be one or two. But on the bright side, since I haven't made the dress yet, you get the chance to customize it to your liking. Oh, I can't wait! The color of the spectrum conveys a different set of ideas and emotions, all of which can have a compelling effect on the audience while you're on the catwalk. You know, I never knew that. And lucky you, you get to choose the color of the dress. The other girls didn't get to have this much input, you know. So, do you know which colors you want? Uh, yes, I do. So what color did you want the dress? Uh, hmm. Green, the color of vibrance in life. Great. I'll make a note of that. And so the hunt for the fabric continues. Oh, Daniel, I'm sure something will turn up. But just in case, I'll keep an Thanks. eye out. More work for us. All right, what do we have to do? We can meet Daniel in the cul-de-sac, tell him what kind of dress you want. Yeah. There just has to be someone on Wisteria Rain... Rain Lane that would have what you're looking for, but who? Um, Ava? Hey, Ava Longoria? You! you. Yes, you're just who I was thinking of. Actually, yes, I am. Word has a way of getting around. Gasly, thank you for the resub. Appreciate you. You know how that can be. Right. So, what can I do for Listen, you? I talked with Daniel. He told me what you were looking for. And I think I can help you out. Come over and we can have a chat and maybe we can work something out. Oh, we also, I think we unlocked new emote slots. So if y'all have emote requests, I'm also taking those. Okay, but keep in mind, I'm not rich by any means. Just comfortable. Oh, come on. You're a doctor's <laughs> wife. You're the last person that should be complaining about money. But I'm so well, humble. I'll see you soon. All right, I'll see you in the f You'll see me whenever I get around to it. Are we gonna kiss? I hope so. Radio Rebel cosplay? I don't have a hair curler, but maybe I can make my straightener turn my hair into... I can use my straightener to curl my hair, but it won't be the same texture. That is a good idea. I'm writing that down. All right. All right. The people have spoken. All right. Knock. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. What now, Carlos? Oh, God. What are we walking are into? You tell me what you plan on preparing for the potluck or what? Preparing? Preparing? Oh, sweetie. Why would you assume I would prepare anything for this potluck dinner? Ew. Even the words sound icky. Do I have fingerless gloves? No, I'll have to acquire them. I also don't have my ears pierced. Maybe I can find clip-on earrings. Do this, okay? It would mean a lot to me. I'm serious, Carlos. I really don't think it's too much to ask for. I mean, you are a house. Oh, fuck that. No, you don't just tell me, hey, Gabby, a co-worker is having a potluck at his house and we're going on such short notice. Yeah, on her side. I how I feel about the kitchen. I always like it shiny, clean, and elegant. Yes, never cook. No one should actually use the oven or stovetop. That's why God invented home delivery. Yes, absolutely. Hmm, beautiful on the outside, empty inside. Huh. That's <gasps> the idea of someone. <gasps> do you really think mocking me is the way to get me to do this favor for you? Come on, Gabby. How long does it take to cook one dish? A couple of hours at the most. You've got more than enough time on your hands. No. Uh-uh. Mama wouldn't have had any problem with this, you know. <gasps> oh, gross. Uh-uh. Do not bring your mother into this That's Carlos. immediate no. <laughs> Just saying there are certain things a woman should be able to do in her own home, and this is one of them. Carlos sucks in the show, too. I believe it. Come on. These people are all business. Yeah, if contact. you care so much, you do it. My career. We both know that when my career is going well, things tend to trickle down to you. Little things like diamonds. Perhaps I was being too harsh. <laughs> Gabrielle, oh, stand on. your ground. Glad you could make it. Well, I was happy to get your call. I'll save us some time and cut to the chase. That's good to hear. Listen, I want to help Daniel out. Okay. Was modeling full time, I worked with a number of really famous clothing designers. And a lot of times, after the show was over, I had the habit of keeping some of the dresses I modeled. Just the ones that were my favorites. I'm not greedy, you know. What is it with the people in this neighborhood and stealing? You stole the dresses, Gabrielle. Don't sugarcoat it. Well, if you want to get all technical, but that's not the point. 
One of the dresses is made entirely of the fabric that you and Daniel have been scrambling all over town to find. Fantastic. We make a deal. Um. All right, Gabby, what's it going to take for me to walk out of here with that dress of yours in my hand? I'll do anything. Nothing like that. Trust me. I like men far too much. I was thinking. Boo. Trade. I give you the dress and you help me out of my situation. What situation is that? You overheard our little discussion, right? Yes. It's a simple trait. You prepare a nice dish for me to take to Carlos's pub. Oh, you want banana meatloaf. I give you the dress. Listen, that dress is just taking up space in my closet. So if you can just bring me a nice enough dish, I'd be more than happy to part with it. Sounds like a deal Great. to me. The dinner's coming up soon. A little too soon, if you ask me. But anyway, don't mess up. If you bail on me, I'll be forced to hire a caterer. And that usually costs around $500. Why not just order in the first place? No. Caterers cost money. Besides, if the food is perfect, Carlos will know I didn't make it. I need the flawed cooking that only someone like you is capable of. Ah! Also, update, Tom did cheat on Lynette in the show, but it only happened once and way before the show took place. Oh, okay. So, break an egg. <laughs> or whatever it is. So he's shot. innocent. So he's innocent. I mean, doesn't everybody cheat on their spouses just once? You know, first time is like a free, free pass. You know, it's the second time where it gets serious. All right, let's go make some banana meatloaf. I really am tempted to watch Desperate Housewives. Out of all the shows that people have been saying I need to watch, that's kind of the one that's getting me right now. Apprentice? Oh, wait, no. Cook for Gabby. Banana meatloaf. Is it on... Hulu? Probably is, right? Trying to pull up the Hulu app. Oh, wait. I've got to make banana meatloaf. I wonder if there is like a... A vegan or vegetarian version of a banana meatloaf. Because I am so curious what this... <laughs> What this tastes like? I know this is like a thing outside of um, outside of Desperate Housewives, but it just doesn't sound right. It really sounds dark-sided, so so dark-sided. Banana Beyond Loaf. Um, I don't. I could volunteer to make that for <laughs> the eight-hour stream, but. <laughs> Maybe I should go easy on my stomach if I'm going to be streaming for eight hours. <laughs> Another time. <laughs> Another time I'll try a banana beyond loaf. Serve. Alright. Get out of my way, bud. Also, why are you not at work? Go. Go work a job, please. So tell me, are you ready to hold up your end of the deal? Here you go. And this? Is yours. Thanks. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Of course. This reminds me of the old days. Except instead of sushi in the green room, we have breeze muffins. But at least I get to see my picture in print again. Is that so? And it's finally for a good reason. Usually when Wisteria Lane is in the news, it's not exactly a happy occasion. It's the truth. I'm convinced that food just like didn't start tasting good until the early 2000s. Because I look at old recipes and they're all just, first of all, they all have like gelatin and cottage cheese in them and no seasoning whatsoever. Like vintage recipe books terrify me. They really do. Like um, Snuggly, who makes Nancy Drew content uh, over on YouTube. She has a series where she cooks through the Nancy Drew cookbook which is from like the 1970s. And there was one recipe that was just like hot peanut butter with celery salt. And it was like a soup. And there was another one that was just like Nancy Drew's special onion. And it was just an onion with a beef bouillon cube on top of it. Also, hi, case stumps. <laughs> These shows are always madhouses. I'm it's sure so foul. So foul. I can't. Time, there's always someone that for one reason or another wants to see the show fail. I doubt there's anyone like that around here, but you should keep a lookout anyway. As for me, I'll be too busy prepping for the show. Gotta perfect the walk. She the just talks and talks and talks. So that's the fashion industry for you. It sounds like the industry is really two-faced. Yep, 
It certainly is. I hope your dress turns out all right. See you in the show. See ya, Gabrielle. My Midwest boomer mother also loves cottage cheese and is allergic to seasoning anything. Doesn't even use salt. It's tragic. I don't even think I had cottage cheese when I ate cheese. I would be scared to try it. The texture looks concerning to me. Hello. Did you need something? <laughs> Gabby wants you to know that she's a model the way I want you to know that I lived in Germany. Yes, Carlos, so I need you. you. Funny, I was about to That's ask the same funny, thing. But you should be careful. I might get the wrong idea and think you're not joking. Oh, Carlos, I'm very serious. You are aware that I'm a happily married man, right? I won't mention Gabrielle if you don't mention Luke Epp. I'll mention her name again. All I want is you. Right now. That This actor, this voice actor is really giving his all for this performance. I don't know if I've ever seen... There must be a vegan cottage cheese at this point, but I've never been tempted Ooh, to buy it. Boy, that was some awesome erotic action there. Ugh. Y'all... Y'all don't keep your shoes on in bed? Y'all don't keep your shoes on? <laughs> also, wait, is that my husband in that car? Where's he going? Awesome. I was going to say awful. I haven't been this unfulfilled in years. Are you kidding me? That was the complete package. I was on fire. More like going down in flames. You have a gift for being completely disconnected and oblivious well, to my needs. You're an acrobat yourself. I was just trying to be polite by saying I had a good time. Well, I guess that's that. No reason to keep tapping this well. Oh my gosh. What are we doing here? What are we doing? I've tried- oh, tofu? Yeah, like soft tofu. I guess it kind of looks like it. Cheese is very hard to... um... substitute, to be honest. Like, the texture. I think you can get close, like, flavor-wise, but... A lot of vegan cheeses are, like, plastic. They, like, don't melt, right? But the thing is, I never really liked cheese when I, like, ate dairy on a regular basis, so it's not that big of a deal for me. I do love Miyoko's. Miyoko's and, um... Chow? Chow <laughs> my voice cracked. Chow vegan cheese? I think that's how you say it. C-H-A-O. They make really good slices. When we would make vegan garbage plates, we would use chow. And that's just the truth. Oh, you found it. How wonderful. You could say that. It cost me an arm and a leg. We had to make oh, one banana like meatloaf. I'm finding it. I'll make it up to you with the dress I make for you. And oh, there's one more thing left I need from you to help finish things up. But um, Daya cheese, the like vegan cheese that is at like every restaurant that does offer vegan cheese. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> like there have been so many times where, well, not so many. But, like, a handful of times where I've been to a place that has, like, vegan cheese for pizza or something. And I'll just be like, oh, no cheese, just a bunch of veggies. And they'll be like, we have vegan cheese. And I'm like, oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm not putting myself through that. It It's all bad. Don't like it. Anything for I you, have an Daniel. I already picked out for you that will go perfectly with your new dress. <laughs> Would you be a deer and stop by the shopping center to pick it up? As long as they don't have to pay for it, sure. Okay, then. Talk to you in a bit. Oh, rich people. Oh, rich people. We're walking all over, aren't we? All right, where are we going? Me, me, Daniel, tell them what kind of dress. Oh, okay. We gotta go back over here. We gotta go back in the Chrysler Pacifica. We're just running all over the place right now. Fetch quest after fetch quest. And none of it requires me to sleep with people. Lame. I mean, our garden is standing. So I would say that's pretty fabulous. My garden in real life, the weeds have taken over. They've unionized. But I promised Dan that I was going to fix it once the spring came. Beyonce's commercial was filmed on Wisteria Lane? What does that mean? Like for her new album? Why doesn't Dan fix it? An excellent Hi, question. How can I help you? 
I have a package I was sent to pick up for Daniel Fox. Right. Oh my god. Oh, I remember seeing that when it came in and thinking, wow, Daniel Fox orders from us. I was like, oh my god, no way. And I told all my friends and they couldn't believe it. Why does she kind of look like me? <laughs> Why does she kind of look like me if I went outside and actually got a tan? I mean, who'd think Daniel Fox would come to my store? Technically, he still hasn't come here yet. I guess not. But there's still time, I guess. So anyway, Keep her humble. can you tell me the shipping number so I can find the package? The what? I'm sorry. I can't issue your package. Oh my gosh. If I have I to go back. Number, well, fine. What do you suggest I do in the meantime? And find out what it is. But I'm already here. Well, you want, I can call him and find out for you. Um, wait, why won't I just let him? Yes, you call. Why are we making more work for ourselves? Oh, is it? It's clever, like a fox, you know. I'll be sure to tell him you're a fan. Tell him I said hi too, okay? Alrighty. Well, that was a waste. We can't call Dan. We have to go back. They're st stretching this game out so much. All right, walk away. No, don't enter store. <laughs> okay let's get out of here and let's walk away no no get out of here i don't have time for this we have a fashion show we're like mary kate and ashley in um god what was the name of that one They're like, we have to make our fashion for the fashion show in two days! Because the Mafia kidnapped all of our clothes! And Ashley Olsen was like telling that 17 year old to get a job! Those movies were insane, but what a delight. What a delight. My favorite part about um, when I made the video about the Mary Kate and Ashley uh, movies was I just be like, "Oh, Dan, I've got a lot on my plate today. I've got to watch like <laughs> I've got to watch like six Mary Kate and Ashley movies back to back. Uh, it's, it's a tough day. <laughs> I really, I really have it hard. All right, come on." All right, can you speed walk a little bit? This is how you know Martha's straight. Hey, I'm a bit bogged down right now, but you probably need the shipping number, right? Yes. I wrote the shipping number down in the kitchen at my house. You're driving me crazy, Daniel. And, oh, Frank should be there, so the door will be open for you. And there's two of them, so that's like 12 movies if you don't think about it. Yes. And the thing is, even though I said in that video, that I wasn't counting their like mini series, their TV series. I still got so many comments being like, you forgot the mystery of the whale in the sky. It must have slipped my mind. <laughs> you forgot the one where Mary Kate and Ashley commit Anyways, tax fraud. And I'm like, I wasn't counting those. Come <laughs> on, pay attention. <laughs> oh, bye basement bats. Because if I did count those, I would have, it would have been like a 10 hour video, which I'm sure people would have enjoyed, but I uh, had a deadline. <laughs> but I had a deadline, so we couldn't do that. And is that, does that make me a bad person? It's located in the kitchen. Um, wait, where's his house? Why are we walking? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I watched so much content for the chicken girls and then I talked about like two things. <laughs> so many things didn't make the cut. There we go. Just trying to figure out which one. Philbert Stan, welcome. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh.
All right, where is this shipping notice? There we go. Finally. Okay. If I have to jump through any more hoops just to be a hot girl and do my hot girl walk, I'm gonna lose it. What do you mean you didn't get it? Uh oh. We didn't get it. Who is this? Come on, Frankie. You know who we are, and we know who you are. Let's cut the crap. Oh Listen, God! I can't talk right now. There's way too much attention around here. You really should have thought of that before you skipped down. Don't call me anymore. We don't have anything to talk about. Oh, well, see, we happen to think we do. He was being Andrew Tate for our son. <laughs> That's very true. But it sounds like we're gonna have to talk face to face if we're gonna get anything done. Okay, I, it doesn't sound like they're talking about video games this time. Talk to you soon, Frankie. Wait, hello? Hey! I mean, Frankie is a mafia name, is it not? <sighs> Damn it. Well, sounds like someone else's problem. That sounds like someone else's issue. Get in. Okay, we gotta go to the boutique. We gotta go back to the boutique. Don't tend that garden, I swear to God. Go. Go. He has no mob wife yet. <laughs> yet. Luquette better be scared, honestly. Luquette better be scared of what I do. Alright. Let's go talk to Beverly. We don't have a choice. We gotta do it. We gotta take one for the team. God, Beverly's such a piece of work. <laughs> Slowly making our way over. All right, come out, Beverly. Did you find the shipping number? Yes, I did. All righty then. Here's your package. What's this taped onto the top? Oh, yeah. Just a little letter for Daniel saying hi. That's all. Okay. <laughs> so you take it easy. I'll see you around. Martha and I are thinking the same thing. Oh yeah, happy early Valentine's Day, everybody. I um Well, I assume Dan isn't watching. I was gonna say what I got Dan for stream uh for Valentine's Day, but actually since he's home he might be watching. <laughs> So I retract that back. But I think he'll like it. And happy Galentine's Day. Today's Galentine's Day. And that's what really matters. Uh, We're going to get dinner like this weekend. But we're... We're not going to do anything tomorrow because I kind of just hate going to restaurants when they're super crowded. Because crowds scare me as we've established, but. And also like Valentine's Day isn't like super important to me, especially because. Mr. Fox, I'd like to speak with you for a moment, if I may. Oh, b before we get into this, like Dan and I, we have Christmas and then our anniversary is like, is January 2nd. So we already like celebrated with each other twice, like not that long ago. So we don't get like super crazy with Valentine's Day. It's pretty cash. There's no need to be official with me. Just call me Frank. Well, I'll be frank with you, Frank. There are some things that <laughs> I need to know, and I think you might be able to give me some answers. I'm sorry. I don't think I know you, and I, uh, I don't talk to strangers. All right. Well, he needs to give Frank some candy. Oh, I'm certain you don't know me. I'm not really from around here, per se, but I am very much familiar with who you are. With who... I am? So is he in the Mafia? Yes. My visit to Fairview is the result of an interest in some of your most recent activities. 28 out of 31 is so specific, Mike. But I appreciate I it. May, I have a couple of questions I'd like to ask you about your duties during your tenure at the Bank of... Is, did he money really launder? Talk now. A friend of mine is working on a project... And I told him I'd help him out with some of the details. Did Frank cause the 2008 financial crisis? That's right. Your brother Daniel is holding that sweetheart's fashion show sometime soon, isn't he? I, uh, 
Sorry, I gotta go now. Okay, good. Well, anyways, fashion. Hey, you're fashion. Back. Yes, and with your package, no so less. I see. You're going to look absolutely ravishing. You know that? You're damn right, I will. Wow, don't be so modest. Vegan banana meatloaf recipe, and I found an actual recipe for it using yellow split peas and gluten. Like as gluten. Or yellow split feet, please. <laughs> yellow split peas and flour? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yellow split, please. I'm losing my mind. So guess what? Losing my Since mind. You were so helpful. I'll do you a little favor. Vital weak gluten. Oh, yeah. I was blank. I forgot that that was the thing. To make the seitan late lentil loaf. We do love some seitan. It's been a while since I made some seitan. <laughs> Split, please. <laughs> really, Daniel, thank you so much. Not that many people can walk around saying they have a Fox original, you know. So, make sure you take good care of it. Oh, goose just hit my chair. Thought it was a ghost. I bet I can get a lot of money for it online. Uh, Hotchkiss, I... <laughs> I gave up on gluten-free before, um... Huh? Last week. I did it for like three weeks, and I was like, this isn't helping. <laughs> was it even three weeks? It might have been two weeks. And I was just like, you know what? I wanted to make focaccia. And you know what? So I made focaccia last Tuesday. And then on Thursday, while we were streaming, you might recall, I heard a suspicious noise while I was streaming with Twish... With Twisha. <laughs> Wandering Stars, thank you for the sub. Um, I heard a suspicious noise and Twisha, Twisha went out to inspect what was going on. Nutmeg was still here. Goose was nowhere to be found. Nothing is disturbed as far as Trisha can tell. But then I go, I go back out there um, after we're done streaming and I see the, we hit the sub goal again. Woo! <laughs> I go back out there and I see the scissors. They're just like dull kitchen scissors that I was using to cut the focaccia on the floor. And I was just like, uh oh, the focaccia is gone. <laughs> so Goose ate just like a big chunk of bread. Womp womp. Yeah, so Goose is a gluten boy. I couldn't even eat that much gluten because Goose ate like half of it. It was fine. There was nothing like bad for him except. There was some garlic on it, and his breath smelled so rank the next day. Like, he was laying down next to me while I was working, and occasionally I would get a whiff of just, like, rotten eggs, and I was just like, am I losing my mind? Why does it smell so bad? And then he, like, burped near Dan's face, and Dan was like, ugh. And it was Goose. Goose... Ugh. Goose has a death wish. He really does. But he's also a tank, and he'll eat, like... He'll eat anything. Like, the focaccia is really, like, low on the list of um, things he's eaten. Yeah, that's the other thing. <laughs> I promise... <laughs> I sound like such a negligent dog parent. It was my fault. I should have... I should have put the focaccia away. But, ugh. He got to it. And I'll never let it happen again. <laughs> You're welcome. Speaking of, hey, care to hear the latest about the fashion show? Here, let's finish this, and then we'll do the goose cam. He's at my feet, so I don't know how good the cam will be. I've actually been up to my neck in work lately. The show is turning out to be a lot more work than I originally thought. My mom's lab is a counter surfing menace who ate an entire pack of low carb, high fiber tortillas, and I just know another dog would have gotten a bowel obstruction. Yeah, see, goose doesn't normally have the audacity to like do that stuff when we're home. That's very rare. And normally we put stuff away when we're gone. That's why the focaccia was out was because we were home. We assumed he'd be in here with us, but... Ugh. Now, that's not to say that I want to quit. The show must go on, so to speak. Why, did you want to help me out? Sure, I'm always up for help... Uh, Maybe. What do you want? And what's in it for me? Well, as it turns out, 
I need to know what everyone wants to have read about themselves as they walk the stage. Oh, boring. Since I'm master of ceremonies for the event, I kind of need to know that sort of thing. I would really appreciate it if you could get those from the girls for me. My friend's dog stole a hot dog out of the bun. <laughs> I can respect that. Can she was gluten-free. Right but if the fashion show goes off without a hitch, I'm sure I'll be able to find something to give you as a token of my gratitude. Are we going to hook up? Love that. All right. Save real quick. Save. All right. A goose cam has been requested. <laughs> but now... <laughs> But now Goose really wants attention because he saw I was holding Nutmeg and he's jealous. So I'll be petting him while while we play. Alright, what do I have to do? Ugh, I have to talk to all these people? God. Bree! Talk to me, Queen. Hey, I was hoping to run into you. No, my lord, it doesn't end. Talk to you about something. Okay, Edie, what did you want to talk to me about? I just wanted to ask you to stop by and talk for a bit about the big fashion show. Oh, thank you, Laffy Taffy. I appreciate that. Um, sure, I'll make my way over there sometime. So just stop by when you get the chance. We haven't really had a chance to talk to See Edie. You, you sure will. Yeah, please don't... <laughs> please don't show up at my parents' house. <laughs> you know... If you're gonna dox anyone, at least let it be me. Not my parents. Oh, <laughs> come on. Come on. Now they won't talk. Hi, sweet girl. Nami has such big eyes, and sometimes she just stares at you like. Yeah, <laughs> if my parents got doxxed, it was definitely Nutmeg's fault. I'm just kidding, Nutmeg. I'm just kidding. Alright, well off to bed then, I guess. Ooh, portmanteau, okay. Hmm. Hi, buddy. Let me... Oop. <laughs> Don't spin the camera constantly. Okay. Let me look up a word. <laughs> Was Luke P. or Bort wearing a bra? I did not see that. Um Um Okay. Okay. I think I have one. So, Nutmeg and the Stallion. Did we do that one before? That, like, gave me deja vu. Maybe we haven't done that one yet. Uh, okay. So, uh, something you use, um, uh, something you can use, how do I describe this? <laughs> something you can use when you're a top, and... The place you are when you're an actor in a musical. This one might be kind of hard. But y'all got the last one too fast. Strap on stage. <laughs> Strap on stage. <laughs> there we go. Madison's too good at them. All right, let's go back to Bree's house now. Now that we've got that out of the way. 
Uh, the thing, a thing you use when you're a top, and the place you are if you're an actor uh, on Broadway or like a, a musical actor. Portman Queen. All right, now we fast travel. <laughs> it's like the second I say it, it's like I black it out, can't repeat it again. Re. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she just opened her fridge and walked away. Ma'am. Oh, hi. Stressing How me out. You? Movie about a magical pair of jeans and a snack with celery. Sisterhood of the Traveling Ants on a Log. <laughs> That's really good. That's good. You know, I heard the strangest rumor about you the other day. A rumor? About me? Who would start some malicious gossip about me? I'm a paragon of virtue. What was it about? Let's see. It was, um... Someone told me that... They... You were dancing in... The Gentleman's Club downtown. With Paul Young. With Paul Young. My goodness. <laughs> Who would say such a thing? I feel like once you sort of get into the mindset, portmanteaus get a lot easier. Like when I first... <laughs> I was watching a TikTok of people doing it and it like hurt my brain. Like there's one... Okay, this is a free one because I didn't make it up. There's uh, one that was really good. So a an artist who was nominated for best new artist at the Grammys and the reason we don't have Pangea anymore I don't know who it was I just overheard it while I was downtown I figured you would want to hear what people are saying about you no not Taylor Shift oh of course best new artist I appreciate it. Noah Continental Drift <laughs> <laughs> Continental Swift and, Co and Taylor Shift is also good. <laughs> I certainly hope that doesn't bother you. The show is coming up and I really don't want something like this in the back of your mind while you're on stage. What will all these people looking at you? Well, thank you. You're welcome. Wait. We just talked about something completely unrelated. Brie, I need a summary. Oh, hi. How are you? I feel a sneeze coming on. Hey, Brie. He wants to know... I'm running errands for Daniel. He wants to know how you'd like to be introduced during the fashion oh, show. How very thoughtful. If I had known Daniel was shorthanded, I would have offered to help. Oh, how awkward. I'm not really that comfortable extolling my own virtues. I'll give it a shot. He should oh. start with my work for the descendants of American revolutionaries. Very, um, Emily Gilmore. I just thought of another one. I know there wasn't a portmanteau request. Maybe I should hang on to it, but it's in my head. Um, uh, host of a game show and Nancy Drew's pseudonym. Oh, thank you, K-Stumps. <laughs> host of a game show and Nancy Drew's pseudonym in Waverly Academy. The name we're using undercover at Waverly Academy. Alex Trebekah Sawyer. Yes, thank you. All right. Well, now I have to think of another one. Okay, I think I have enough. Thanks a lot, Bree. You are more than welcome. And please thank Daniel for being so thoughtful. All right. Hang on. Hang on. I've, I've got an idea. I just need to look up the word. Okay. Song? A collab song by Justin Bieber, and I don't even know the other person's name. Also, Level Green, thank you for the resub. Always good to see you. What's, what's, what's the name? Well, actually, I don't even have to tell you the name. A, a classic collab song with Justin Bieber. Oh, I said the order wrong. Back it up, back it up. Someone 
who prefers to be with large partners and a hit Justin Bieber collab song from like 2012 somewhere in there Twenty ten. From a Justin Bieber song from twenty ten that he it's a collab. Polly I am size queenie meanie, yes case tumps. <laughs> Polly I am sorry is really good though. <laughs> I really like Polly I am sorry. Is it too late now to say sorry? <laughs> Cause I'm missing more than just your body. Eeny Meeny is such a good song. I was listening to it last night. Shawty is a eeny meeny miny mo lover. Shawty is a eeny meeny miny mo lover. It's so catchy. Yeah, I didn't really know. <laughs> I didn't want to completely give it away if I was too specific about what I meant by larger partner. Because <laughs> the thing is, y'all are on it. I have to make it a little more challenging. I didn't even know that term. I mean, I, I contextually I get what it is, but... <laughs> that's, that's not a phrase I've ever used. Oh, hey. oh good, another one. <laughs> Carlos, what are you doing over here? Hmm. <laughs> that, okay. So, this might be, this might be hard, but it might not be. Um, the person who's running the cult that Grimes is in and the person who uh, is dating Bo Burnham. You're a hard person to get a hold of, you know that, Gabrielle? Really? <laughs> Grimes is in a cult? I'm just going off of what Grimes said. <laughs> this is what I mean. It might be hard. There's a TikTok sound about Grimes talking about a cult that Grimes is in. <laughs> so if you're not on TikTok, maybe you don't know. When I get started accessorizing, it's sort of hard for me to stop. You know how that can be, right? Okay, I'll give a second hint for... Um, this feels too Gen Z. I am Gen Z. Okay, you know the second one. Yeah, the second one, they also won a Grammy. Several Grammys with their like collab group. <laughs> okay, well, the the Grimes cult leader is also the name of a mascot at Tokyo Disney. <laughs> yes, Boy Genius, but who's in Boy Genius? <laughs> okay, people people know the second. Yes. Phoebe, Phoebe is the second one. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about with the, the cult thing? Duff Phoebe Bridgers! Yes, Hotchkiss! Okay, well now we have to watch the clip, because I thought y'all would know what I was talking about. I'm sorry. Uh, Grimes, Colt, Duffy. Hang on, hang on. Well... You miss out on some culture if you don't pay attention to what Grimes is up to, I'll tell you that much. Only person that moves to Vancouver. How about the promo pic? Kind of interesting, isn't it? He only wears black. He only wears like a black suit. Trying to see. Like, it's from somewhere. I like want to cry when I think about it, but uh... People care. Because it's the future of me. Where is it? I'm Nardwar. It didn't do anything. Austin, Texas. <laughs> Thank you. It's somewhere now, in this interview, but it's special... 11 minutes say. long. Yeah, so how's the birthday been going? I don't know. I sort of like Nardwar. It didn't do anything. South by Southwest. Remember? Yeah, we played a show. Yeah. Texas at South by South. Are in Austin. 
Texas. Ugh, should I pull up the TikTok? British Columbia, Canada, to speak to Grimes from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, right? That's, that's, we could have just been there, but we both came here. Grimes, what can you tell me about the importance hang on. of the emergency room in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada? Hang on, hang on, we've got the clip. Duffy is my muse, and he also runs the cult that I'm um, in. I remember of I'm the High Priestess, uh, <laughs> and it's a surrealist cult um, that is completely centered around bureaucracy. So you can never you can never do anything because you're constantly doing paperwork. Um, but he's also he dances for me a lot. Uh, um, I don't know. He's just he's just crazy. Who is Duffy? <laughs> <laughs> Duffy is, is my muse. muse. He's, he's also the cult, uh, that, the I'm, cult that, um, that I'm in. I remember. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> so good. Oh, Grimes, why did she have to go date Elon Musk? Also, my stream elements thing is all goofy. I just just now noticed that after this whole long stream. Hang on, I'm gonna fix that real quick. Who is Duffy? Yeah, that's close enough. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I wasn't really aware of Grimes until Grimes started dating Elon Musk, and then I was um, oh, we're in the wrong thing. And then I discovered, wow, Grimes had some bops, and then I was just disappointed retroactively. So why is there no sound? I always Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Daniel sent me out to get a short description of everyone in the show for the MC to read. Oh my god. That is so tacky. Oh, did I miss one? Did I miss a portmanteau? <laughs> Winner of the best actress in the mid 2010s. Emma Stone at the nail salon. That is good. Autistic Laura Palmer. I like that one. An MC how tragically suburban. You'd think Daniel would know better. Copacabana meatloaf. <laughs> well, Gabby, you do live in suburbia. I know, but do I have to be reminded of that fact so often? Me too. Tell Daniel to talk about my experiences as a supermodel. <clears throat> I traveled the globe. Just as a subtle reminder that I'm on a different level than the rest of you. <laughs> Maybe they should have a handicap for the other women. This is what I sound like, isn't it? It's the truth. <laughs> sad, sad for you all. The part about the levels, not me being vain. Tablescape is a portmanteau. Is it? What is the scape part? Okay, I have to later. get back. Landscape. Yeah, I guess. Hmm. Right? I mean, yeah, it definitely comes from something. It wouldn't be... I can't think of anything else it would be. Hmm. Hmm. Main, per main character of The Walking Dead and person in Duffy's Surrealist Cult. Oh, I forget his name. I watched that show for so long. Carl. <laughs> Not Carl. Carl's dad. Rick Grimes. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> oh, hey. Hi, Susan. Daniel needed me to ask you something. And what's that? You never gave him your intro. Oh my god, I forgot. Just tell him to say whatever he wants. What's... As long as it's flattering, of course. What's Susan's story? She doesn't seem to have much going on. Okay, I guess I can do that. Oh, you don't need to worry about me. You probably have other things to do, right? Yes, I do have a few errands to run. Oh, well, then don't let me keep you. Okay, talk later, okay, Susan. see ya. Yeah, Susan... Susan ain't it. And on that note... Ouch. Oh, that was probably justified. <laughs> 
Oh, that's probably something I would say too. Oh, look at that slim fast she's got over there on her countertop. She is ready. You bet it was justified and you know why. She deserved it for one reason or another. Okay, now you're making me feel bad. <laughs> okay, now you're making me feel bad for slapping you for no reason. Um, don't like her. She's getting ready to drink some slim fast to cool off. She needs to cool off after all that slim fast. All right. What is... This house's design is very distressing to me. Why is there no garage? <laughs> Why is there just an empty space over here? Hello? Tom? Or whatever. <laughs> of course, Lynette has to go get the door. Hey there. How are you? You know, I heard the strangest rumor about you the you other day. A rumor about me? So, what did you hear? Let's see, it was, um, someone told me that they saw you at the park at midnight with the therapist. So, which one of the neighborhood gossips told you that one? I don't know, I just overheard it while I was shopping downtown and figured you'd want to hear it from me as opposed to someone else. Are people really saying that about me? <laughs> it's all over the news. Well, I'm glad I heard it from you, I guess. I certainly hope that doesn't bother you. The show is coming up and I really don't want something like this in the back of your mind while you're on stage. What with all those people looking at you? Well, thanks. Ooh, a sugary treat featuring a nut that's actually a legume. Hmm. A date? Sugary treat featuring a nut. Peanuts are legumes. Reese's Pierce? That, that, that's my guess. <laughs> Come here, Lynette. I'm not done with you. Hey there. How are you? Reese's Pierce's? Lynette, just the woman I was looking for you. Oh, Tom. Peanut Britta Perry. That's good. <sighs> That's right. We were supposed to give him those by last night. Mm. Both Porter Aww. and Kristen were sick, so I was up all night. <laughs> Can't imagine. I do love community, though. Producing a successful businesswoman, mother, and wife. Uh huh. Well, oh, you're welcome. Okay. Well. I'm assuming you had a good reason to do that. I don't know why. I'm sorry, Lynette. You're very lucky I value our friendship. Seduce. Now, seduce Hi. the husband. Nice to see you. you must be looking for Lynette. What do you mean? Are you talking about having a look? I thought tell you what. Yeah, the TV blaring is really overwhelming. I'm going to look up if I can sleep with Tom and Desperate Housewives. How to sleep with Tom. Desperate Housewives game. Hmm. Hmm. Really? Well, then why is the button to seduce even there? Why would they tempt me like that? This is for wasting my time. Ouch! What did I do to deserve that? If Lynette won't do it, I oh, will. What's a slap every now and then between friends? <laughs> this is taking a turn. All right, I need to go. I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here. This bird's eye view is all we need. Yeah, Tom cheating mod. Does that exist? Can we get on that? Yeah, that's not fair. If he'll cheat on the show, he should be able to cheat with us. What's the difference? No, we don't need a getting rejected by our husband's mod. Here you go. Thanks. But there's one thing missing. 
No, I could have sworn I talked to everyone. I still haven't gotten yours yet, silly. Oh, you had me worried for a minute there, Daniel. What did you want me to say about you? Hmm. You can tell the audience about how much I value my friends and Good family. Sounds great. Boom. Oh, we did it. Oh, what's happening? Well, hello, fair. This is Edie Britt. Remember me? You were supposed to help me oh, out with my new plan, but you didn't. I guess I forgot. Because of you, I was forced to sabotage the show on my own. Thanks a lot, loser. <gasps> I'll be watching you. You better not warn anyone about the dress, the runway, or the out of order microphone. Oh, of course not, Edie. Good. See you at the show. Well, then I'm definitely. Should I snitch? Hey, I'm kind of, I'm kind of busy right now. Can you make it quick? I have reason to believe that the show has been sabotaged. Are you sure? Positive. How could something like this have happened? I think it's all Edie Britt's doing. She seems like the bitter type, you know. There's no time to talk about it now. I'll get right to work. Thanks for the heads up. Who knows? Who knows why she's sabotaging? But I'm a snitch. She should have known that. So when did we get this show on the road? That. Did you forget that it's scheduled for tomorrow night? A horror book. Oh. S S sleepy, sleepy son. No, sleepy. Pajama son of San. Hotchkiss. Or that can't be it. Yes. Did you forget? It's definitely Pajama Sam something. Come on, Daniel. What do you take me for? Oh, you're such a tease. You really had me going there for a minute. But yes, tomorrow night at seven. I'm going to expect you and all the other girls to be seated backstage by five o'clock. Okay? Five o'clock. Got it. I'll be there. Oh my gosh! Look at us. We're looking great. Pajama Samityville Horror. Yeah, we played some Pajama Sam, I think. I think we did. Yes, we did on stream a while back. I love Pajama Sam. Hey, good luck out there. Dang, I could have gotten that. I knew Amityville Horror. <laughs> Thanks, mister. Vincent Corsetti to my business partners. My friends call me Vinny. Oh, okay, Vinny. I'm Martha. So, I just came back here to wish everyone good luck in the show. Why, thank you. I don't think I've seen you around here before, Vinny. Are you new in town? You say that. All of the recent happenings in Fairview have sparked my interest in the area. Yeah, we can, we're definitely going to do another Pajama Sam and Spy Fox. We, def we also have to finish the Spy Fox game that we got glitched out of and we didn't get to finish. Daniel Fox is quite a celebrity. I'm very excited about it. And it's quite the treat to be able to attend one of his shows. We look great, but we do kind of blend into the grass, don't we? <laughs> the way I had the biggest crush on Spy Fox as a kid, that's so real. So real. Yeah, the fox name goes a long way. This is gonna sound strange, but uh, is it possible we met somewhere before? Is Kingdom Hearts gone forever? Um, I was thinking about that, about like doing it for the eight hour stream. I don't know, it would kind of depend... Well, one, we lost a lot of progress from what I remember. <laughs> because it glitched and we didn't save several times. And like the last time we were like, no. So I'd have to see if that issue has resolved and have to play back up to where we were before. I don't know. I'm not totally against it, but I just felt like it went really bad <laughs> last time. Or we could also play it on the PS4. But then I would have to play up to where we were before. And that's also a lot of time. So... Who knows? It's not that I don't want to, it's that it takes work. <laughs> and I don't work. How could I? My memory's a bit foggy. It's possible that we have met, but I don't remember. Oh, is that so? Vinny, I need to talk to you for a second. Oh, God. Pardon me for a moment. Tell me something. Surely you noticed this ravishing woman before me. <laughs> the pivot. She actually looks a lot like... And you saw me speaking with her, didn't you? Well, sure I did. But that's good. Now tell me why you felt the need to interrupt our conversation. I'm, 
I'm sorry, but there's something you're gonna want to check out. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You know what? <laughs> I know. I love this secret conversation right here. Lynette is minding her own business, and God bless no, her. I don't know what. Desperate How the West Was Fun. <laughs> A 2000s TV drama about married housewives in a wealthy suburbs and a Mary Kate and Ashley cowboy that movie. Guy you told me to look for. I think he's here. <sighs> Let's head back to our seats and wait for the show to start. I have to say, it was a pleasure talking to you. We'll have no. to do it again sometime. Who cares about my husband? Oh, I'm sure we'll meet again. We just might. Another portmanteau. I don't know why y'all keep wanting one for me. The chat's coming up with plenty of them for free. With no proper nouns. Proper nouns are like names and stuff, right? Um. I know, Meg. Hmm. Okay. Dang it, that's a proper noun. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean, I thought of one, but it's boring. I think. Hmm. Here, I'm going to see if I can think of another one. Hang on. Word that starts with putting I'm trying to put a lot of thought in this. <laughs> Wait, is this cheating? Is this a proper noun or not? No. Am I being dumb? Okay. Uh pronouns used by a non-binary person. And thing you find in a fire pit. Also, writing utensil and shape of pasta. They thembers, yes. <laughs> Penkelbo? Penne? Penne's good. It has to be penne, right? Also, Eric is here. Ballpoint pen, eh? <laughs> Hi, can I help you with something? I just wanted to give you some information. That guy that just left here, he's bad news. Even though I understand why you'd be jealous, you aren't in any position where you can tell me what to do. Ever the detail-oriented one I see. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want me to believe you, you're going to have to give me a good reason. Oh, mind is already made. Oops. Mind. Sorry, I skipped past the dialogue. Yeah, right. So listen, the show's gonna start soon. Maybe you should take your seat. I'll do that. But remember what I've told you. <laughs> I wish I hadn't skipped past what you told me. Oh, I'll remember, all right. It's for your own good. I remember this being divisive in Half Moon Joe's <laughs> chat. Is Eric hot? I think his voice is hot. I don't know if anyone in this game, the models can be hot. Well. Listen up, people. Oh, here we go. <laughs> uh-huh. I we went through a lot to get here, but I really want to say thank you to Lynette. all of you for taking part in the show. What have they put you in? What have they put you in? So now, without further ado, let's get out there and give them a show they'll never forget. Everyone craves a little attention now and then. Hell yeah, Edie. Sometimes this attention merely reinforces how we feel about ourselves. Other times, it can lead to anger and resentment. Honestly, no, I don't like polka dots that much. It's very, uh, 2010s. 
like 2000 just the year 2010 be careful with the amount of attention you seek since you never know exactly who has their eye on you no oh. <laughs> no okay he's not hot when they zoom in like that From the day we are born, all of us want to be appreciated. She's wiggling. And while Keep some wiggling. can't get enough attention, others can get by with just the occasional bit of it now and then. Ugh, get out of here, Tom. Wasting my time. Sometimes, when it comes to being appreciated, the most important question is not whether we are getting attention, but who <gasps> in particular is giving it. Edie's with the mob? In his Pacifica Limited? All right, before I talk to Edie... Oh, hang on, hang on. I wanted to end it for the night. Hang on, we're about to get drawn into another conver conversation. We're done. <laughs> We're done. What a chaotic episode. We didn't sleep with as many people, but we did sleep with the mailman. And I think that's really all that matters. And we tried to sleep with the gay man and he said no. But we tried our best, didn't we? Yes. No. Yes, we slept with Mike and Carlos. Mailman twice. Mailman twice. Yeah, hold on to the portmanteaus. There'll, there'll be plenty of time for those. And I also maybe accidentally doxed myself. I know Laffy Taffy said I was good, but I'm, I am going to double check that <laughs> after we're done here. But uh, thank you, everyone, for hanging out. I had a good time. And uh, tomorrow we'll be doing Stardew. Oh, my gosh. Radio Rebel before we leave. Tomorrow we'll be playing Stardew. And then Thursday, we're playing an Nancy Drew game, but we haven't, we haven't picked a Nancy Drew game yet. Dare I say, should I make it a surprise? Dare I say? All right, here we go. <laughs> when you accidentally dox yourself on stream? Or your parents? <laughs> yes, surprise, just not ghost dogs. Okay, meme coming in hot with... <laughs> I'm not even joking, I was thinking about doing ghost dogs. <laughs> But now, perhaps I won't. Maybe. You'll never know. I'll never tell. We're going to play them all at some point. But anyways, have a good rest of your night, everybody. Happy Galentine's Day. All right. Bye.